the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, <laughs> smell, <laughs> touch, coochie coochie go, and taste. <sighs> taste like chicken. Can I go? Please, please, please. No, I don't want you out of my sight. Out of sight? Okay. Come on, everybody. Here we go. Figment, you are not to interfere with the tour. Our first stop is the sound lab. We'll begin by testing your hearing with a series of tones. Left ear, right ear. Left, right. This is on. Um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment. Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here! All aboard! Woohoo! Next stop, imagination! For every sound, your ears are hearing. A thousand thoughts can start appearing. And each of us imagines different things. Wings. Continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, figment-free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. Uh, let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three and hit with F-I-G-M-E-N-T, you can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you could see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. There's more to sight than meets the eye. Is it me? 
more than you can imagine. It's time to get back to the Institute. I know a shortcut. Well, if you can't beat them, join them. We all have sparks. So, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a blast!